Hey all, Turtle here coming at you with another Hidden Fates opening. Hope everyone is staying safe, staying healthy during these scary and uncertain times. Uh, today we have the Ultra Ball collection featuring Metagross. Not nearly good as the Zorark, but we'll see if we can't pull that shiny Charizard which has been all over the place. Uh, we'll talk about more of that later, but uh, yeah, hope this opening is kind of like a light-hearted distraction from everything that's going around the world. And uh, so yeah, let's begin. Right, here we have the Metagross tin, or Metagross promo. Never have seen this being used. Obviously, Zorark. Um, actually, I feel like Zorark has fallen off a bit, but such a good card. And we do have our ten packs of Hidden Fates. Let's get into our first pack. I uh, just want to say a huge shout out to anyone and everyone that is somehow involved with the medical industry and is kind of like on the front lines of this global pandemic. Um, you know, everyone is, those individuals is a hero and yeah, huge shout out to those people. All right, let's see, for our first pack, I keep messing this up somehow. We have a Jesse and James foil. And oh, shiny right off the bat, Alolan Ninetales. I think one of my favorite Alolans, the shiny doesn't do much because it doesn't change much. But hey, shiny right off the bat, we will take it. Remember when we first started Hidden Fates? Oh god, like, when was that? <laughs> many, many months ago, it took us probably like over 50 packs to get our first shiny GX. We were, kind of had a curse meme going on, which was kind of funny, but at the same time, pretty painful. Not that we weren't getting good pulls, we are getting a good number of secret rares, but just no shiny GXs. Ooh, shiny Charmander. All right, two for two. Oh, that is the, <laughs> the shiny card is the last card. So we got two hits so far, and that is one of the better non-GX shinies. But uh, Shiny Charizard, yeah, still all over the place. As of the filming of this, I took a quick look and maybe prices are going back to normal. TCG player, the cheapest near mint one is just under 250. And then eBay sold listings has one, actually two um, in the past couple days under 200, but then a best offer accepted at like 260 I think oh my gosh look at this and actually, and I can feel this is the extra textured which I do prefer and we got two more hits so far we have three packs four hits and uh, can't really be asking for more um, actually no we can but uh, if you guys been following this channel for a while you know I prefer, as long as we get half the hits compared to the number of packs as long as we get five hits in this box I will definitely be satisfied and call this a successful opening and we are already four four hits on our way there one more and then we'll call it Ooh, all right well you know not not a very good hit but hey we hit that five hit mark and we're not even halfway through this box there we go and uh, we will include GX's regular GX's but it's probably on the lower tier as quality of the hits. So now we just want, now we're going for quality. <laughs> we already hit, hit the quantity threshold for a successful opening. Misty, Scyther, Jinx, and then a Mew, and an Arbuck. All right, in case you guys are ever bored on Monday, Tuesday, or Thursday evenings, we do stream on YouTube and Twitch. And we're trying a new thing. First time we're gonna do it is tonight where we're gonna, I'm calling it like a limited constructed event where we kind of did a poll on Discord, link down below, if you're not in there, uh, and picked several, everyone voted for sets that they wanna see in this event. And we came down to, all right, we have these four sets and we're gonna build limited decks and play, try them out during our stream. And so we'll see how it goes. I think the first one, Kind of has some pretty strong sets. We got Unbroken Bonds, Lost Thunder, Sword and Shield, and um, can't remember the last one. Or is that already four? 
but should be fun and uh, definitely come check it out if you haven't. We do plenty of pack giveaways and if you do play the online game or even if you don't, just come hang out, say hi. Uh, so that, again, that starts 7 p.m. Ooh, reverse energy. Look at all these hits. We already have seven hits. We have three packs remaining. But yeah, 7 p.m. EST on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday. Check us out on twitch.com slash I want a turtle or right here. If you're subbed to the channel, you will get some kind of notification. I'm pretty sure that we go live. All right, we got three more packs. All right, we're, we got plenty of hits. Now we'll just get something good and I will take that. I'm really happy with this Riolu. Oh my gosh, nine, eight cards. <laughs> Uh, we've, we've upgraded from a 50% hit rate to working on a hundred percent Maybe we can even exceed that But yeah hidden fates is such in a weird place. I think uh, our next Pokemon video will continue to be about hidden fates the the I think I'm gonna talk about the price of opening hidden fates because Yes, Charizard is still blue. Oh my gosh, another shiny in Ralts, one of my, the ones I do like. Ralts, big fan of Gardevoir. And look at this, we gotta move some cards over just to make room for all the hits. We have 10 hits so far. Oh no, 10 including the promo. And we got one more pack. But yes, the next Pokemon episode will probably be about the price of opening Hidden Fates and not for Hidden Fates because comparing to the secondary market, you can get almost all the cards for very cheap obviously excluding Charizard so I guess it's more like the cost of hunting for that shiny Charizard although depending on the product you do it with the price will vary significantly uh, at an absurd level very interesting all right Vaporeon our last pack is another reverse energy so take a look at this 10 hits plus a promo all in a single box yeah don't pay $100 for an ETB, get these for $50, uh, there's still some vendors that still hold have them, uh, so pick it up at MSRP, maybe a little bit cheaper if there is a sale, and yeah, you can get plenty of hits. But uh, yeah guys, that's going to be it for me today, uh, hope this was a brief distraction from everything that's going around in the world, and of course, stay healthy, uh, practice good sanitary habits, and uh, yeah, huge shout out to everyone involved on the front lines of this pandemic, uh, and yeah, I'm Wanted Turtle, I'll catch you guys next time.